Oh, hiya. Everybody out there in Facebook land, Jimmy, we did it. We weren't sure we could do this today, but we are. Now, look at... You know, sometimes we reach Friday, and Friday kind of is the end of a week that might have been a little bit yucky. Do you know what I mean? So, Nettie had one of those weeks. It's like every time I turned around, something was going wrong, and I just didn't feel so good, and... I had a little bug, and, you know, that's because we went to the farm last week, and I had to ride on the airplane with all those germs. Well, I know, it's not proven, but, you know, when you're kind of tired, and, and you have to ride on the airplane, and then you get exposed to kind of who knows what. <laughs> well, I came home with a little bit of don't feel goods, And so, but throughout the week, even though I... I chose to take care of myself and rest when I didn't feel good, things happened all week. And not just to me. I saw things in the world. I saw things with my friends. I saw so much going on that just didn't make me feel so good coming into Friday. So Fred, Hubby, and I were kind of just talking about what do we want to do this week and that makes us feel good? Well, we're going to go to one of them boxer games where Coach Goober's coaching, and that always makes us feel good, but that's only for a few hours. This is a Friday where both of us are thinking we need to be doing something to make us feel better, to make us happier. And, you know, how many of you end your work week kind of feeling the same way? Like, usually it's, woohoo, we get to go home. <laughs> Yeah, and some of us are really good at taking care of ourselves and putting our feet up and maybe having a glass of sparkling Kool-Aid or something. But others of us just kind of go into the weekend moping and, and getting a little worried that it's going to end on Sunday night. Yeah, we do that. So I, I'm, I'm here. I, I'm here to talk a little bit about feeling good on Friday. And going into your weekend with, let's call it this, I want to boost your mood, I want to boost your attitude, and I think maybe we can use a little gratitude to make that happen. Hey, Jimmy, that rhymed. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't always plan that, but here, here's what I want to talk about. I want to be grateful for all of you who make it so wonderful to sit and just share love. I mean, it's really important that we share love to those who maybe don't really, well, do you earn love? I don't know. We work hard at just being out in the world and first responders in love, but it doesn't always work. So I'm, I'm thinking that I want to thank you for making it easy to love and easy to get a message out that we can be in a mood with good attitude, with gratitude. We have so much to be thankful for, even when we're feeling a little yucky. We do. And we just have to remember that. So I'm, I'm thinking that um, we just can't do it alone. If I didn't have a group of people listening to this or watching this, what good would my message do? Well, there is one thing. It's being in the world as if the whole world were watching. You be the example of responding first in love. It's true. You're doing it for the good of all. When you do it for yourself, you're doing it for the good of all because you go out in the world a better person. When I do it for myself, I'm doing it for Fred and I'm doing it for Jimmy. We only need to be first responders in love because we love. And we know that that's the only, only, only way to have a feel good Friday and a feel-good Saturday, and Sunday and Monday, a feel-good week. So I'm here to thank you, to say, are you being a first responder in love? 
you know, if I know I have a team, you know, Jimmy's the one that kind of put me up to this Facebook stuff and the YouTube stuff, but he's made me take some lessons on YouTube about how to be a, a YouTuber. <laughs> well, who would have thought? But there's 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 a reason that that I do that now. I'm understanding that we have ways of taking technology that I never would have understood before to reach more people to get out some good news for a change. And you know, that's the only reason I'm here. And it's not that I'm going to pretend that I don't feel bad or have bad news all the time. Usually by the time you see me talk, I'm in my happy mode and in a place where I need to, if I'm feeling bad, then, then, and I can figure out how to feel good, then I want to share that with you. And I want you in turn to share that with others. For every happy thing you can say to someone, you lift them up and you help them to lift others up. It's kind of like building the Good Mood Friday and one person at a time. One person at a time. I really did understand about three months ago that I can't do anything for the world if I'm sitting in my, my easy chair just yapping at the television because it's not telling me what I want to hear. You can't do that. And I'm grateful for people who respond and love and even protesters they're doing it out of love and for pastors for pastors who week after week empower their congregations to go out in love for those who don't even know god yet but have that understanding that there's something bigger than us inside and that's what propels us to survive. And it isn't food and water, which is gratefully received. But it's about the power of love that lives inside of us. It's true. You know, even people who say, uh-uh, there is no love. There is no God. There is no higher power. They know something deep inside is there helping them survive that has nothing to do with what they eat. Mm-mm. It's for what they consume in the world, what they choose to consume, and what they have already been given. Mm -hmm. So, there is something you can do to help Nettie. And it seems kind of weird because I'm saying things like, it's just me, but it isn't, it's you too. It, it's, it, it's, you being on the team of first responders. It's sort of like the volunteer fire department. <laughs> oh, oh, I love those guys. I put money in the boot when they're on the corner in Lincoln City. Sorry, Jimmy, I know, but I get excited about first responders. And the police, you know, there's always, there's always, you know, stuff around the, what the police are doing or not doing. But I, I tell you. When you are out helping empower other people and you're a, re a first responder, where else is that coming from? But a sense of being there for other people. Mm -hmm. So you can do that too. You can help me boost the mood. You can help me change the attitude. And you can help me help others be in a place of gratitude. And you know... You can do things like interact with me. Do you have something that you want to talk about or you want Nettie to talk about? You can you can go with that Nettie Oh Nettie Fitz and Pitley dot com. No well, he says don't get it wrong <laughs> But he said it in love. Nettie Fitz and Pitley at gmail dot com and I'll put it on the feed. You know, I am open to talking to you. I, I even talk on my cell phone now. <laughs> Jimmy just kind of turned the ringer off on my regular phone because I, you know, that those scams are out there and they're not done in love. They call me and they want me to do a whole bunch of stuff with my social security. I know, get back to the point. I love Jimmy. Have I said that before? I do, I love him. 
email me or make comments or or engage and and I'm going to tell you something something that's kind of disturbed me a little bit about Facebook and YouTube and I had no idea but Jimmy gave me a little lesson Facebook take they change those it's sort of like rhythms and blues algorithms algorithms I guess I don't need to know what that means but Jimmy says Jimmy says it has something to do with how people engage with you and how Facebook wants them to engage with you or not. And there's been a little something happening. They want me to boost my posts and put my money into it to to advertise. And, you know, it it's kind of feels like you get hooked in and then you have to keep doing that. And then if you don't, they change the settings. So the al al algorithms changed my settings so that not very many people see it. But I did learn on my lesson, my YouTube lesson, that there's ways you can make that happen. So, you know, I love it that people like my page and f I, I like that they follow up. But it's really, really important that when we love the message of someone else, this isn't just about Nettie. This is about some of the wonderful things that we see on Facebook that actually are helpful in this time. We need to engage by commenting. Like or love, that's a good thing too, but that's not going to be enough anymore, according to Jimmy and Facebook. You have to comment and share. And, you know, bother. On YouTube, it's a little simpler. You just kind of, like, subscribe. And and uh, the importance of subscribing is that they're, they'll be there once in a while. But then there's a little bell. Jimmy told me about the magic bell, and then that, that man on my YouTube video said the same thing. There's a little bell by the subscribe button. If you click that, you'll get a little notification that the new video's up. And that's all that really matters. I just want the message out. Because, you know, it might matter to Facebook. And it might matter to YouTube and Twitter Pate and Instagrams. All that. All that social stuff is important to get the word out in, in a modern age. And the likes might mean something to them, but it's not how many likes Nettie gets. It's really how much love gets out of Nettie. How much love gets out to others. That's the important thing. And I, I, I heard from one one friend of Nettie one day that if she hadn't have read or watched the the video on gentleness, she had a little run-in with her neighbor when she was getting into the car. He's blocking her driveway again, you know. And she didn't respond first in love. And she had just watched gentleness. It caused her to pause and she got out of her car and went over and apologized to her neighbor. Without letting him get away with it, she just said, I'm sorry I responded that way. And she apologized for how she responded. But she still held him accountable. She said, I would appreciate it if you are kind and respectful so that I can get out of my car. She didn't blame him for the way she responded. That's what we want to do, and you can be a part of that. So, I just have a lot of love to give. And I want others to show the world, really, really, that love wins. Love does win. It might seem slow, but, you know, just thinking about how one person at a time we can get them to Pull in to love and let go of the hate speak and the memes that are so mean. And, you know, I may not like what somebody's saying or the way they're governing or the way they're preaching, but that is a response I need to deal with within myself and understand what the lesson might be. Right now, the lesson for Nettie is 
We do nothing without thinking about how we can respond in love. I mean that. So help me do that. Comment. Share. Uh, send your friends, not just to Nettie, but send them the good things. The good scripture. The good memes. The babies laughing. Make Friday a happy Friday. Really a feel-good Friday. You know what? I already feel better. It wasn't even a crappy week. But it was kind of, it was a near crappy week. But today I feel better. And I feel like we are going to change the mood. We are going to change the attitude. And we're going to have a lot of gratitude for those we love. Those we need to learn to love. Those we need to hold accountable for. We 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 just... We just need to be out here with good, faithful hearts and doing our part and being first responders in love. It's important. Huh, Jimmy? I just love him. Did I ever say that? So don't be crappy. Be happy. And remember, Nettie loves you. Oh, Jimmy, you know you have to help me do this. I say that in love. Oh, you know the ticket. Remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.